FOBO, fear of a better option, is one of the many reasons why we become indecisive. We get stuck between two or more options and we wonder which is the best option for us, when in fact, they're all viable options. We just gotta choose. Indecision, perhaps, is one of the most destructive habits to have. In fact, there's some research that would suggest that the longer you stay indecisive, the harder it is for you to make that decision. And honestly, it's becoming increasingly harder to make decisions in a society that actually values having a range of options. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a few ways that you can pretty much overcome indecision and get on with your life. First way is to make small decisions fast. Choosing what movie to watch, what to eat, and sometimes what to wear are what I would call small decisions. And your challenge is to make these small decisions fast. Making small decisions is actually really interesting because you'll find that the people that actually struggle to make really big decisions also struggle to make the really small ones. Like for example, someone to make the decision to take a promotion can very often struggle whether or not they should have a coffee right now. And and so if that sounds like you, start off making your decisions really small and make them quick. Build that decision-making muscle. And if it helps, flip a coin. It's not worth spending five to 10 minutes or even like longer deciding which pair of socks you should wear. You're wasting precious time and energy that could be better used elsewhere. Now, the second way to overcome a decision is to base your decisions on your goals and your priorities. Know what's important to you in your life. Now, there may be many reasons why you're stuck in a situation you cannot make a choice. But if it's in a situation where you aren't aware of what's important to you and what your priorities are, remind yourself of them and then make a decision based off that. For example, last week I had a situation where I had about 45 minutes in my day and I could either go to the gym or I could sit down on the couch and watch a bit of TV. Now I've had to make this decision many, many times before. And what happens is I either debate with myself for about 10 minutes and then end up hitting the gym anyway, or I'll end up debating with myself for too long finding out that I don't really have that much time anymore and then end up sitting on the couch anyway. And then as a result, I feel like I regretted that decision and I could have just gone to the gym. So deep down inside internally, I know that I want to hit the gym. And I know that, you know, losing a bit of weight and getting fit is higher on my priority list than it is to like sit down and relax for, you know, X amount of time. And so now what I do is, is if I ever have that decision again, or if I ever have like a similar decision to make, I think about what my priorities are, like what's really important to me and then based off that I let that gu just, like guide my decisions like whichever goal or priority is higher um, I just go with that and the third and last way which I believe is incredibly important I back a lot that is commit to your decision don't keep circling back and going through the options again what you're essentially doing is winding up your anxiety and you're going to further encourage that cycle of indecision make a decision stick to it commit to it and follow through with action this may not seem like a really big deal, but hear me out. If you're someone that chops and changes their course regularly, like you start something, don't enjoy it anymore, and then so you switch to something else, and you do the same thing over there, think about what type of track record you are creating for yourself. Think about also what you're communicating to yourself too. You're basically communicating that you can start something, but you can't finish it off. But if you did stick with it, or you stuck to whatever decision you made until the very end, what are you then communicating to yourself? You essentially convince yourself that you're someone that sticks with it until the end. Like you stick through it even though the going gets tough. That you're a person of your word. Like you're communicating that to yourself when you make a decision and you commit to it and you follow through. And this is huge for your confidence. So commit to your decisions, my friend. All right, so those are three ways that you can overcome indecision and I hope they help. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and you subscribe to the channel for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.